coffee that has been sitting out for like a long time. Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you've never been here before. I'm so excited to film this video. If you're new here, I've been doing this series for like a fat minute now where I recreate the Vogue Beauty Insider videos where just like celebrities and influencers do their skincare and makeup routine and I just recreate it. I only do the makeup portion of the video in all of the newer ones in this series that I'm doing. I buy all of the same exact makeup that they use. I don't know, I feel like it just makes the video more special to like use the exact same products they're using to see how close I can get the makeup look to look if that makes sense. As you saw by the title I'm going to be recreating Alexa Demi's makeup routine. I'm pretty sure it's like a 90s glam makeup routine so I'm really excited about that. If you don't know who Alexa Demi is she is Maddie from Euphoria. Probably like millions of others I am absolutely obsessed with Euphoria right now. I don't know how I'm feeling about the second season right now. There's a lot of things that are happening and I don't I don't know I'm like mad at a lot of the characters. If you were watching the show you probably understand what I mean but okay we're just gonna jump into the video so after I do my serum I like to use the Dior backstage primer I've already done all of my skincare off camera. I've literally been waiting to film this video because my whole entire forehead broke out so bad. And I know they say like forehead acne is from stress and you guys know I've been really stressed. So I think it was kind of like a delayed breakout and I think I'm gonna start my period soon but I had like cystic pimples on my forehead and it was not fun but they're finally like healing you can still kind of see like the markings from them but I have like a vitamin C glow serum on snail mucin essence on and then the Charlotte Tilbury magic cream on this is the first thing I've ever ordered from Dior it had a pink bow on it but I have opened it to see what it looks like but I kind of wanted to like open it with you guys so you could see like how beautiful their packaging is just like amazing and there's lots of things in there because this girl uses a lot of stuff from Dior. We have the primer. I hope all this stuff is good because it was expensive and I actually want to use it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Mm. And she just takes that and she goes in with her hand. I'm just going to take a little bit. I don't know how much to take. It didn't really show how much she took. I'm just going to take like that much. I don't even know like what this primer is supposed to do. I don't know if it's supposed to make you glowy or like matte or fill in your pores. It feels like the primers that feel very like silicone-y. That primer literally feels so good. My face like feels like velvet. Not a bad start. Foundation. I like to use a fluffy brush. I used to use a sponge, but I kind of, I like the feel of a fluffy brush and I like to kind of work it in my skin without it being too heavy. She goes in with foundation and it's the Dior Backstage Foundation. I have no idea if this is gonna be the right shade. Mm, that looks really dark. I don't know. I can't tell. I can never tell if something's gonna be my shade or not. I got this like fluffier foundation brush from Sephora just cause like I couldn't really tell what brush she was using and the one she's using is probably expensive and I didn't really want to get it. Can we just take a moment? Her skin is literally so flawless. I'm just gonna take it on the back of my hand. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna be way too dark. Mm, that's fun. Why does this always happen to me? I got this online because I didn't have it in store. She says she just like kind of like works it in with the brush. Oh, this is really dark. That's not good. I'm for sure gonna return this though and get my shade. I feel like it's one of those foundations that's kind of like thinner so you can kind of get away with it but I definitely don't want to waste the money on the wrong shade if I'm never gonna use it because Dior stuff is expensive and also like I want to use this stuff. And she takes it down to her neck which I'm definitely gonna need because I'm- I hope it's showing up on camera what this looks like in real life. If you've been a watcher of these Vogue videos, you know I don't like foundation, but I've tested so many out. I'm just not the biggest fan of foundation because I touch my face a lot and I never like how it looks throughout the day. It's like always separating, it clings to some places, it gets like oily, and it just never works out. So I just like only conceal my pimples and stuff. But I'm curious to see how this lasts and how it mixes with the other products. This stuff's like insane. I am actually so shocked. Okay, we're gonna kind of bring it down. Hopefully we can fix this with like concealer. This might be like my new go-to for when I take Instagram pictures and stuff because this is like really, really good. Also, totally ignore that I'm wearing a silver necklace and gold earrings. I wanna wear a necklace, but I don't have a gold necklace right now. And I like these earrings, so. Now I'm gonna go in and use my NARS concealer. I always bring it up and around the eye just to have that 
have that base for my eyeshadow. And I'm bringing around my nose. I got the NARS concealer. I actually got a shade lighter than I usually do. Whenever people put concealer under their eyes, it's always a little bit brighter. Mine's like the exact same color of my face because I use it to spot conceal. I got this IT Cosmetics brush. It's like for concealer and it has like the one where you like paint it on and then like blend it out because she's using like a brush like that. She brings it kind of down like that. And then she says she brings it up here for when she does eyeshadow. And she brings it near her nose and stuff down here. Whenever I do these makeup videos, I swear my makeup routine changes every single time because I always find something from these makeup videos that I like. And I definitely could see myself starting to use this. This looks so good so far. I like to bake under my eye while I do my eyeshadow. So I just use the sponge. This has a flat end. I love baking. I, I don't bake anywhere else on my face. I just, under the eye, I think it helps when you're doing your eyeshadow too. It just, if anything falls, it's really, you can take it off really easily. Also, I have really hollow eyes and I just feel like this kind of like, I don't know, brightens me up. So she baked. I couldn't tell which powder she was using and they didn't link it in the descriptions. I'm just gonna use the Laura Mercier powder because I already had it and it's honestly gonna do the same exact thing. I don't, I love the way like baking looks. Like whenever I do it, I feel fancy. I don't know, I don't know if that makes sense or not. It looks crazy, but it works. I'm gonna use just like a little bit of a creamy nude. I don't know if this is the same exact one. I'm telling you guys, it was so hard to find the same exact one because all of them look so similar. It's the Dior Backstage Eye Palette, but it looks very similar. You guys will see, but I don't think it's the exact same one. See, I don't think it's the same exact one. Hers was like pinkier. So she goes in with these two colors and she just kind of puts it like on her lid. And then I'm just gonna take this brush because it's flat and like condensed and I can get it right there. And I didn't bring another brush like that. I'm gonna go into my crease with a slightly darker color and I'm gonna take this color here and work in my crease. And I'll go in after this with a different brush and blend out even more. Unless they just reflect weird on camera, this is definitely a different palette. It just looks really similar. I think I'm gonna go in with this color though and kind of mix these two to make the shade that she's making. I don't wanna go in with this one because it's a completely different color. Hers is like more orangey. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I go in with a little bit of this Pat over, Pat McGrath over the Dior. This one was really hard to buy because this by itself was $125. I, it, it's cool, you know? I love Pat McGrath stuff, so I know it's gonna be good quality, but let's just like look at the case. It has this little thing on it, and then it like opens, and then the palette is in there. I'm so excited to use this shade. All right, she goes in with this matte shade in her crease just to like deepen it up a little bit. Here, you guys can enjoy this satisfaction with me. Alright, so that is that so far. I'm gonna take just like a clean brush and kind of just like make sure everything's blended. I know 90s is always like just matte, but I've been really into all of the glittery eyeshadows right now. So this one has a little bit of brown and gold. She goes in with this color, which is kind of like a shimmery color, and she goes in with it on her crease. I hate shimmery colors kind of to begin with, like in eyes. I only like them on the lid, so this is just gonna be kind of painful. Okay, after I do all that, I like to go back in 
and do my lid. I'm still blending because I don't want my mom to yell at me. I'm going to pop a little bit more of this Pat McGrath glitter on the lid. She goes back in with the two first colors that we used and she reapplies it. She says she goes back in with this on the lid again, but then she comes back and she has like sparkly-ishness there and it kind of looks like this color or this color. I'm just gonna take some and I'm gonna put some on my lid just with a brush really quick and then she goes in with this color and applies it like with her finger. Are you guys seeing this? This is by far my favorite eye look so far and we're not even done. <sighs> I know we have to add winged eyeliner and it's the thing that I'm like least looking forward to because I hate winged eyeliner so much and this looks so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight under the brow. I'm gonna take a little bit of that and put it right under the eyebrow. I'm gonna come back to the eyeshadow but I wanna start the wing. So I see this Pat McGrath pen and I kinda just I start at the on the outer corner of my eye. I like a really like pointed. I don't like it like too curled up too. I I don't know. It's kind of just I, I've done it. My I just follow my eye here, but I just it needs to be really pointy. So I kind of just start like that, and then I always get a Q-tip and I just. I bring the inner corners in to give me that like fierce jaguar look. The part I am not looking forward to at all. So I got the same exact eyeliner of the Pat McGrath. I'm going off camera to do this because I know I'm gonna have to get super close to the bathroom mirror to do it. So that took so long. In that time, my Postmates got here and I didn't get the text message and it's been here for 20 minutes already. That just shows you how long that this took. This is how it looks. Honestly, I don't think it looks bad. I think I've definitely gotten better. I will say this Pat McGrath liner freaking sucks. Like it dries down and it's good. The tip of it, you can already see. I like was careful with it and stuff. The tip is completely dried out after I did the first eye. So this eye was annoying. And then I remembered I had another eyeliner. This is the Glossier one. I love this eyeliner. So then I had to finish it with the Glossier one. Um, this eyeliner really sucks. Maybe I did something wrong. I don't know what I would do wrong. If I can't even keep it out because it dries down so fast, that's like, how am I going to use it after like the first eye, you know? Hmm. I'm going to do a little bit of blush. I used to hate blush because my mom was so obsessed with blush. She would put so much blush on me and I would always say no blush like before she would do my makeup and now I'm, I'm I love blush. And she would always say smile. I bring it up a little bit into the hairline. Blush time. I am like an FBI agent. The blush was not in the description. Like I will literally sit there and go frame by frame trying to see if there's like a label anywhere and I couldn't see any. So I just typed blush into Sephora and I was scrolling and I found it and it was the Makeup Forever blush. I got it in the, what looked like the same color and I got it and it was just this thing and it wasn't like the actual case. So I was like, oh, okay, so you have to buy the actual case separately. So I went today and got a case. And I had to get the big case, this one, so I can put like three or four in here and make my own palette because they were sold out of the single cases. It's satisfying, but now I only have one in there, but you get the point. She totally wiped the bake off. I haven't done that yet. We're gonna do that. <laughs> I like to use this Dior um, contour palette. So I'm gonna do a little bit of contour. And I bring it up into the cheek just a little bit. 
All right, so we're gonna go in with contour first. The palette that she used, I could not find anywhere. It was sold out. A lot of Dior products are sold out right now because a lot of their products have been trending like crazy. And I see like, oh no, is this broken? There's just like a bunch of powder right there. I got so scared. That was sold out. So I got just the bronzer. So, and I kind of got, oh my gosh, this feels like it's like gonna come out. This is scary. This thing is like, okay. But I just got the bronzer, so. <gasps> what did I just say? What did I just say? Okay, Lisa came out in one piece. You like kind of went like lower-ish, like very much like in the hollows, you know? Um, okay, and then now we're going to move on to bronzer. So now that I've done my contour, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer. I just like to lightly dust. And I didn't know what bronzer she went in with and she like barely used any of it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer because it kind of like looks like the same color and everything. I'm gonna do a little bit of this Dior highlighter. I'm gonna blend these two. That's cute. She goes in with a Dior highlight and it's a highlight palette. They literally had no highlight palettes and I already own a Dior highlighter. I'm just gonna use this because it's gonna do the same exact thing. This highlighter is like amazing. It's like my favorite all time highlighter. I like it because it's not like one of those highlights that's like super glittery. It just like makes your skin look like glass. Oh my gosh. I love it. I'm gonna go in. I'm huge. I don't ever not wear lip liner. So I'm gonna go in with this Dior lip liner. And sometimes I even layer lip liners, which I think I might do today. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a brown. I'm going in with a, a light nude. Okay, so now that I've done the nude lipstick, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a brown gloss. I'm layering another gloss on top of that. This Dior Lip Maximizer, just to give it a little something in the center. I thought I brought one of my lip liners and I didn't. And it's more of the brownish one, but this one's pretty brownish. And then I have this one, which is pinkier. So I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go with the pinkier one first is the Charlotte Tilbury one. And then I'm going to go in with the Kylie one I have. That is the lip liner. And then she's, I think she goes in with lipstick next. I got this NARS. Yeah. Lipstick and I'm pretty sure I got a nude like ish color. This is a little darker than um, her nude So I didn't get a nude gloss. I did get the Dior gloss she used so I'm going to put that over here I feel like her lips are gonna look a little different But it was so hard to find like the same exact colors and especially I had to like do it myself I'm a mess. I literally forgot the whole entire point of why I didn't buy the nude lipstick is because I was gonna just use the Charlotte Tilbury one I have. So I'm literally just gonna put this on top of it to see if I can make it more nude. I don't know how I forgot that, but we're gonna use this now. Okay, so that's it for the lips. I mean, it looks good with the look, so it's not exactly like hers, but... My nails are not acrylic. They're soft gels and I've I think I've had long nails since middle school. So I've had my wing and my nails. Same! My nails are soft gels too. I think the last video I posted is a tutorial on these. Soft gel nails are honestly just like the new move because acrylics are just like so time consuming. These are so fast. They last just as long and they're just so much easier and they look better and with so much less work. So I don't fill in my brows. Um, not because I don't like it, I just really don't know how. I just like to do brow gel. Like, I can't go anywhere without my brow gel. And I like to brush them up and out. So excited to try this stuff. I've seen this stuff in a million videos and I just keep forgetting to like buy it. I'm actually gonna finally try it. And it's the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Love this spoolie, the like the wand. 
I really like that. You can tell this one looks like a little bit more fuller and like lifts my face up a little bit. Wow, this stuff's great. I'm curious to see how it holds all day. Mascara. I recently got eyelash extensions and you're not supposed to put mascara, but I'm, I'm, I just, I have to. I, again, had to be a detective for this one, and I went millisecond by millisecond trying to see which mascara it was, and it's a Lancome one, and ah, I dropped it. I'm pretty sure it's this one. I usually don't like wands like this. I think these are for volume, and I like lengthening mascaras, plastic spoolies, but this one's not that bad. I think it's because the little, like, teeth on it are, like, far apart, and a lot of them are, like, super close together, so then it just, like, clumps my lashes. But this mascara is actually really good. So now I'm just gonna set it with that same hydrating mist that I used in the beginning, just to kind of let it all get into the skin. This is my final look. Thank you for watching. So she goes in with a setting spray and I didn't get that setting spray. So I'm just gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury one. And just... That is the final look. This is definitely my favorite one we've done so far. I have done so many of these videos now. We started with Madison Beer, then we did like Emma Chamberlain, Gigi Hadid, Doja Cat, literally so many more. We've done so many of these videos and these are some of my favorite videos to do because it's just like we sit down, we do some makeup, it's very therapeutic and it gets me out of my comfort zone because I'll find myself doing the same exact makeup routine and it, like not changing anything. It's like an excuse for me to try new makeup because I never want to like buy new makeup and if I don't like it, it's like, well, now I'm like stuck with it. I have quite a few makeup videos coming up. I have quite a few euphoria videos coming up. Maybe something to do with nails. I don't know. I don't know. I might be filming something right after this. My other social media platforms are linked in the description. If you guys want to follow me on there, I would really appreciate it. We are about to hit 100k. We're getting like really, really close. I'm so freaking excited like by the time this goes up we might hit it or like we might hit it like within that day hit that subscribe button so you're here before 100k so then you can be like yeah i was here before 100k i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next one bye i don't know if you like the way i put my words together but i need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers or like birds of scales hand to hand dropping corn shit down the well wish me well wish me well Always talking about the fishing scales, things that's gon' throw my mind off focus. Probably what's gon' get my drug use more dosage. Like I